one of the one of the things that we did to try to to uh, get things under underway was just look at at what transactions made no difference in our decision making uh, what were truly wasteful transactions uh, and they they went from inventory transactions all the the traditional receiving inventory into a warehouse uh, moving it then to a particular uh, uh, job if you will all the work orders that went with that um, matching of, of uh, payables a three-way match all those things that, that we did because we've always done it but they, they made no difference in how we decided uh, how to run our business or anything like that so that was the first stab was how do you eliminate all those things one of the, the, the very specific activities was when we receive material into our, our uh, uh, revenue generating value streams the materials expensed at that time and uh, another big immediate success we had not necessarily all lean accounting but but the whole lean concept is uh, work orders uh, work orders alone even in our uh, environment uh, we're uh, not a tremendously large company but work orders alone we cut out 80,000 pieces of paper a year which was uh, phenomenal and uh, they were lost everything's visual now so um, that was that was a uh, tremendous success right up front uh, the, uh, the some of the streamlining we've done on uh, receiving and and the uh, classical three-way match we've did away We've partnered with uh, many of our vendors, and, and uh, whenever possible, we uh, we refer to it as auto pay. We we pay off the receiver, and uh, basically, uh, it's just tremendously freed up uh, the payables department, which in our case is one person. Which uh, cutting that time, uh, she's a very bright person, allows us to use her in other ways. Mm. Now, how do you? suppliers take to that idea of, uh, of auto payment? Uh, the, the suppliers actually, uh, uh, it was uh, uncharted territory for us when we started and uh, we started with a, a few suppliers and uh, well I reckon the, the short answer is they love it. They, they're getting uh, they're getting paid quicker, uh, and, and actually, we have a little bit of a leverage. We uh, here at Power Curvers, we try to uh, take all of our discounts. So, uh, you know, we will tell them, you know, we'll even uh, pay you quicker with a discount, and, and this allows us to do that without uh, uh, putting a strain on, on, on the, like I said, the old matching concept, and also. Uh, some of the suppliers uh, were uh, lukewarm at first, but now I think basically all of them that are on it, they're getting paid quicker, and, and they love it. Yeah, and, and one other other piece that I think is the fact that through our, our lean shop floor activities, lean purchasing, uh, <clears throat> all the other things we've done, is we've been able to increase our um, inventory turns to such a point that our our level of inventory is largely immaterial in in, in our balance sheet, mm -hmm. and so the less important uh, inventory has become, in that um, the less important is when when you pay for it or how you value it. Well, the biggest concern I had uh, was what what the auditors were going to think and. and um, uh, in our case, being a private company, our uh, reporting is, is key to, for our banking relationships. But um, what we did uh, early on, well, the very when we started talking about moving lean into the accounting as opposed to just lean manufacturing, uh, uh, we had our auditors or, or a representative of our audit firm in on everything we did, the Kaizans explaining uh, what we intended to do, what it would look like. So uh, basically, I didn't have to sell them on anything. It was already uh, the first year they came in after lean accounting. It was already pre-approved. Basically, they knew what to expect, and and uh, so it went fine. Yeah. No problems. Good. Yeah.